Hey YouTube, KC Classic 7 here, back again with another video. This actually is another installment to my Why I Like This Game series. It's been a little while since I made uh, one of these videos, so I, I decided tonight why not to make one. I was actually inspired after watching F and Awesome Gaming and JG is Real this video. Shout out to them about the NCAA 13 appearances. And they made a lot of good points in there. One specifically about the spat. I felt that Madden on the past gen consoles did the spat perfectly. It's not, I mean, I can go to, I'll go to another player after, but for the running back, it's not too high, nor is it too low. Right here is where it stops. In Madden now, it usually stops right here, either around the ankle, or it stops too high, like around the calf. But here, it stops in the perfect spot. We'll go to a lineman so you can see it better. Who has a darker color spat. It's not too high or it's not too low. It's right right there in the middle where spat usually is. Maybe it's just my opinion. I felt that Madden on the PS2 did it the best as far as spat. And another thing about spat and attires. One thing specifically in NCAA that I would like to see is team color socks. I'm not sure if that's in there yet, but I feel that team color socks and also secondary team color socks would be two cool improvements that I would like to see in the NCAA series. It's in Madden for the socks and the, and the cleats, but I would also like to see it added into the NCAA series because NCAA, there's a lot more variety of socks anyway, like the crazy socks that Oregon wears and stuff like that. It would be cool to see it in there. Another thing that I'd like to see in Madden and NCAA is team color spat. As you see, got my two linemen here on the end. It's kind of hard to tell, but that's they are both wearing brown spat. Got the guy here in the middle. Obviously, you have the white spat and the black spat, which is still in Madden and NCAA now. But team color spat and secondary team color spat would be two cool improvements that I'd like to see added into the series eventually. I'm not saying now, later, but it would just be something cool that I'd like to see added into the series. Another thing that I'd like to see added back into the series, which was a huge thing for me, I actually thought about this after watching their video, uh, JG is real in uh, F and Awesome Gaming is, notice my running back's leg, he has a brace on his knee. He has a knee injury, and it's cool that they actually put the time in to, if you're injured at a certain spot, um, you'll, you'll, have what, you'll have the right equipment on to, for the injury. Like, he has a knee injury, so he has a brace on. Um, I have other players who are injured on the team, just so I can, just for uh, example purposes. He has an ankle injury, so you see him. He has he has the turf tape on his on his ankle. Go to my center here. He has a hand injury, so he has the tape on his wrist, and he also has the tape on his hand. But he has the gloves on, so you can't see it. He has the tape on his wrist. Um, I also did it for the defense too. Um. Yeah, he's not injured. Hold on. Sorry. We'll go to the other side. He's not injured either. Hold on. Who's injured on the defense? Here we go. Sorry about that. He has another wrist injury. So you can see the tape. You know, you can see it's tape because there's a hole. You can look in. You can go through all the attires. You will not find this anywhere in there. I did not just put that on him just because. And as you see, he has a tape on the one side and the all black on the other side. Another ankle injury. As you see, the one taped ankle, the other one's not taped. So it would be something cool that I'd like to see added back into the series. I mean, something small, but it adds to the emergence of a realistic football game. Um, and the last point. And if you are injured, let's say if, you're, if you have a player injured, you will be affected. 
like Trent Green. He has a uh, strained back right now. He's at an 88. He's usually he's at a 90, 91, but he's at 88. He dropped in speed and his agility and acceleration, which were already low, but they dropped even more. So, I mean, something small that I'd like to see added back in. Tell me what you guys think about this. You like to add it back in if it's pointless or whatever it is. And it's your man, KC Classic 7, signing out.